Hey, this is Morgan with Deven Tech. Today in this video, I just picked up one of Unify's Nano HD access points. This access point has a lot more throughput on the 5 GHz side, um, slightly less on the 2.4, but that's okay because most of the devices that need that throughput are going to be operating on the 5 GHz bandwidth anyway. As you can tell from the box, and it may be kind of hard to do, so I may do a comparison video between this and the uh, AC Pro that I've got now and show you that this thing is significantly smaller and actually has a lot more throughput and can handle a really large number of clients, even compared to the Pro itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and kind of show you what it looks like on the inside of the box. Let's go ahead and go through the unboxing of it here. And uh, I'll do a separate video to show you maybe a comparison, like I said, between the Pro and it if you're interested in that. So this one handles, you know, I want to say it was close to twice the number of theoretical clients that, um, that, that the Pro does. So it's a significant improvement if you're someone like me and has a bunch of smart devices and, um, you know, lots of things talking to it that's not transmitting much data but that is transmitting, uh, you know, a, to a lot of small devices. Now, that is tiny. I have the Pro, and, I mean, it is ever bit, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a whole lot bigger than that. I did not expect that to be that small. Um, it does have a single Ethernet port, so it's not like the Pro that has the, um, the second port on it, but again, I'm not, that's okay with me, I'm not actually using that second port on it anyway, it does come, this one comes with an adapter in the box, so you do have that option if you don't have a PoE switch like I do. Man, that is tiny. So, as far as functionality, it's going to do the same physically, it's going to have its blue light ring um, that you can control in your dashboard, SDN, wherever uh, you're controlling it from or from your phone, where you can toggle and change whether you want that LED status to be on or not. It looks like, I know this is significantly smaller, but as far as this goes, the mounting plate, I think that I might be able to directly swap that out with my Pro without having to, um, <clears throat> to actually change this unit out on the ceiling, which would be really good. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to having to redo that. So um, that would be great if this just clips onto what's already there and I can just use the cable and attachment that I've already got and then use this one on the Pro wherever I decide to use it. Um, it's, it's pretty hefty made. This is actually metal here on the back of it and a really nice soft touch plastic on the front um, like I said in that size man that is just a lot of power for the size that it is I can't believe that so this this brings this one up to where it is a step up from the pro a pretty significant step up from the pro but still not the same as buying one of the uh, full-size HDs I believe that they still have quite a bit more clients to handle and of course if you need more and more than that you're gonna have to keep stepping up the chain to um, one of the very expensive access points. This one's uh, in the $150 to $175 range. I'll put a link to it in the description if you're interested in it um, on Amazon. And it fluctuates in price a little bit, so sometimes you may can catch it at a little better price than, than others. But it will be a major upgrade to the Pro that I've already got, so that's pretty exciting. If you like this video, Please hit the like button if you like videos like this and want to see more about this unit and other units, Unify items, other technology things. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, this is Morgan with Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.